It's 5.49 in the morning on Monday, a day after the Daytona 500 of 2021, and I am not fucking happy. One of the main reasons why I revived this channel is I want to put out positive content, but I'm not going to be happy today. There's nothing to be happy about. What we saw was, by far, one of the worst Daytona 500s in history. Maybe ever. That was one of the worst Daytona 500s, maybe ever. And if this is going to be the best season in the world, this is not the way to fucking start it. The biggest race, and probably the worst one of the year. Right off the bat. But if it is the worst race of the year, maybe the next races are going to be good. Maybe the rest of the season is going to be good. Who knows? But I am not fucking happy. They butchered the Daytona 500 this year. They fucking ruined it. That was the package that killed it. Let me explain. So ever since Ryan Newman's last lap crash last year, NASCAR has introduced new things to... Slow the cars down, which is great and all, but the issue with slowing the cars down is the fact that they are now ticking time bombs just at slower speed. With even stronger runs, they can get an even stronger run on a car ahead of them, and if you have an aggressive driver in the pack, they're not going to fucking lift. They aren't going to lift. And there's going to be a horrible accident. We saw that at the end of the 2020 Daytona 500. Was that a horrible accident due to the package? No, that wasn't. That was just really hard racing gone wrong. That's alright. It sucks that it happened. It's, it's really a fucking shame that Ryan Newman had to miss four races that year. And would have missed more if it wasn't due to our uh, Rona boy. But it's unfortunate that happened. But it happened, and there's nothing we can do to change it. What happened at the end of the Daytona 500 this year, and what happened throughout the race, showed me that this package is probably even more dangerous and less competitive than the one we had before. It's slower, it's less competitive, and it's probably going to get someone killed. It's going to get someone killed. I guarantee you that's either going to result in a fan death an official death or a driver death. I guarantee you. I saw that at the end of the the Daytona 500 today. I saw that. I saw that in lap 14 when 10 cars got taken out before the rain delay. 14 laps in. 186 to go. 186 to go. And we're already pulling off stupid moves that cause a 14 car wreck. You either change the drivers or you change the package. Which one's going to work? Well, as a driver myself, I can tell you it's going to be pretty fucking hard to change the driver's points of view on racing. That's going to be pretty fucking difficult to do, if not impossible. So do we change the package again? I think we do. Because what we saw throughout the race that didn't involve a wreck was pretty fucking sour racing too. You'd restart, which is something that happens a lot nowadays because the driver's wreck you restart, you wait 10 laps, and that's a big fucking train on the top line, running the wall. That's all it is. It's a fucking test session. It's a test session to see how the motors run in a pack. No one can pull out, because then they just drop like a turd in the toilet. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Down the shitter. Banished to the Shadow Realm with Rick Ware cars. Gone. Adios, mis amigos. Gone. Dead. Deceased. The racing we saw that didn't involve a wreck was sorry. It was sorry racing. It was absolutely fucking abysmal. It's not fighting the stereotype. And that's one of the things NASCAR has tried to pride itself on the past year. Fighting against stereotypes. They've been trying to fight against stereotypes to put the sport in a better public view. But by having a wreck fest of da a Daytona 500... That's not going to be fighting anything. That's fucking feeding the stereotype, not fighting against it. One of the main issues that I brought up earlier was the rain delay. Yeah, another fucking rain delay. I'm shocked it didn't get bumped to Mon- I, I'm shocked it didn't get bumped to today. I'm recording this on Monday. I'm shocked it didn't get bumped to, to, to today. T 
I'm shocked that they didn't get bumped. I'm I'm honestly shocked. Is that a good thing? Is that a good thing that it was ran on Valentine's Day? Fuck no, it isn't. Who the fuck's going to watch a NASCAR race at like fucking eleven? I know I didn't. I put it on DVR and I went to sleep. My arm hurts. I pulled a muscle in my arm. I can barely fucking move it. You think I'm gonna stick around and watch a super speedway race? Yeah, it's a great race in NASCAR, but what I saw in the first 65 laps, I knew this is gonna be shit. And I was right. I was deadly fucking right. What we saw was, honest to God, one of the worst Daytona 500s in history. When they weren't wrecking half the field, they were running single file. Change the package. Change when the race starts. Looking back, basically every Daytona race since like 2015 has had some type of rain delay to it. Whether that be for the trucks, Xfinity, or Cup. I could be wrong on this, please correct me in the comments if I am. But it's fair to say that the current start times they have for the Daytona races in NASCAR aren't gonna work. They saw what happened in 2012 when they ran it in Monday Night Primetime and they were like, yeah, yeah, this'll work. This'll work every fucking year, but on a Sunday instead of a Monday, wrong, motherfucker, wrong. The only reason why that got a lot of views is because Danica Patrick was in there and Danica Mania was going insane. Sure, we're seeing that with Bubba Wallace nowadays, but still. Is the media going to care as much? Probably not. Probably not. I don't know, but this is this is just a rambling rambling video, just trying to get my thoughts together. So in summary, let's start the race at fucking noon. I know David Land started as a meme, dude, I love you, buddy. Um, but it's it, it's become a movement. It was trending on Twitter earlier, and I fed into the meme on my Twitter. County line underscore TW if you want to see that. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm kind of lying on you to hit the road.